Ariel Hawani post fight at UFC on Fox number seven alongside Miles Fury Jury, who remained undefeated tonight after a vicious KO of Ramsey Nijim here in San Jose. And I got to say, we're, we're talking to you midway through the car, but you may have gotten knocked out of the night regardless. Unbelievable. Have you ever finished someone like that before? No, I, I never finished somebody with punches, like straight out cold. I, I wanted, I got a head kick one time and knocked it out like that, but but not with a punch, and not in the UFC. So. When you connected with that initial punch, not the one where he was on the ground, did you know he was going to be out? Uh, no, I just kind of like, it's when you're in like the heat of the moment, when you're just like lost in that moment in the fight, and you're just like, whop, and like you see him, and like I literally just see him like fall down, eyes back, and I was just like, I ain't going to stop until, uh, you know, the ref pulls me off. That's my job. For someone who's never been in a situation like that before, say like myself, what's that feeling like when you punch someone that hard and then his body just goes limp to the ground? What's it, what's it feel like to you? Honestly, it feels just like uh, when you're hitting mitts and stuff, man. It's, I, I didn't force anything. It was just all ju just technique. You know, that's the way I fight. I'm a technical fighter. So it's just uh, it like felt like just another punch. I'll be honest, straight up. That's how it felt like. First round was a lot different. It's more grappling in that round. What do you think of what he was doing in the first, and how do you kind of finish him in the second after what he was doing there in the first? Ah, uh, the the first, um, he was doing good, man. He was coming for like forward a lot, but he was he had a funky style. You know, he's got funky style of striking, and he's got a scrappy style of wrestling. So it takes a little bit of time to to get his timing down and uh, and really get off on my, my punches because I'm a timing fighter, and it, he's kind of just like uh, all up and down. But but on the ground too, he was kept scrambling, head on the outside like singles and stuff. So it's so unorthodox type stuff. So it made me just keep trying to get my position and, and keep going, keep scrambling too. So now I believe you're three and zero in the UFC, right? You're undefeated. Where do you put yourself in this division? At, at, at a division like yours, I mean, to go 3-0, and to be undefeated still at 155, that, that's very impressive. Honestly, man, I, I don't know. I just, I'm going to talk to my manager and see, see what we want to do, what I want to do. Um, honestly, like, I, I do it because I like to. I, I don't really care about where I fit in. never have in my life. <laughs> so uh, I, I don't really care where I fit in in the UFC or whatnot. I, just, I, like, I like working hard, man, and I, and I like working hard towards a goal and achieving it. And uh, this is my passion. You know, this is, like, literally what I do all the time. So it's like... I, I do this all the time, so it's, you know, I, I don't really care what people say about me, what, what they don't. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to see what my manager wants to do, and we'll talk to UFC and, and whatnot. I, I kind of, I'm going to probably take a couple weeks off, man. I'm a tired. It was a long camp. It was long last year, too, 2012, Ultimate Fighter and all that stuff. So it was just been a long year, year and a half. What is your goal? You say you want to work towards a goal. What is it? Uh, I wanted to get a knockout of the night. That's one of my goals, so hopefully I get that one tonight. Um, I, I had on my, my board, I said, uh, by working hard and sacrificing, April 20th, I'll destroy Ranjin Majim, and I, I just accomplished that goal. Um, I got a knockout at first in the UFC. I got another win in the UFC. I want to get one more win this year. Um, so, I mean, those are just a couple of the goals. I got, I got a lot of little specific goals. What about being a champion? That's there, but but to have a goal of being a champion, that, that, that's honestly, I'll, I'll tell you, that's like my three to five year goal. But to concentrate right now and be like, I want to be a champion, I want to be a champion. I got, there's so many variables right now in my life that could go wrong, that, that could happen to me. That I just got to focus on what's in front of me, slowly but surely. You know, every every training session is so grimy at Alliance. So I try one training session at a time, one opponent at a time. And that's it. If the championship comes one day, I'll, uh, I'll 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 do my thing. But if not, I mean, I'm happy with myself either way. Straight up, Team Fury, what's up? Well, you are on your way, my friend. Congrats on a big win. Looking forward to what's next for you in the future. Thank you, Ariel. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, hit me up, Jiu Jitsu, all day.